time? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Okay, guys. Uh, okay, 36 participants. My name is Anatoly. I uh, uh, work in Intel. And uh, Yuli Chak, Dr. Yuli Chak will help me as uh, we also participate. Yuli, say hi. Hi, hi guys, hi everyone. Um, uh, please don't expect uh, something uh, very scientific, nothing, it's just fun. And I, I, I wanted to show you uh, how could be uh, challenging, uh, excited, and interesting engineering work in uh, in industry, in high high tech industry, and uh, in in Intel, in Intel uh, manufacturing side. So let's let's start. Um, Let's let's get a little bit to history. Uh, just a moment. To history. Uh, and in 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 ninety. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, if you if, if you can see that as it in in nineteen forty three, um, IBM published a very interesting st statement. I think there is a world market for maybe five computers. And at that time, it was not so bad uh, uh, market. Six years later, uh, 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 IBM uh, published a very optimistic statement, computers in the future may weigh no more than one and a half ton. And, uh, uh, this is the average view of, uh, of computer. By the way, uh, when I was a student in Leningrad Polytechnical Institute, I remember a room and all uh, walls were built from the cells. It were all walls were computer <coughs> cells with, with vacuum tubes. Where is this optimism uh, came from? Uh, it's because in 1947, transistor was invented and in 1949, industry started to produce transistor and transistor started aggressively replace uh, uh, vacuum uh, tubes. Uh, and uh, less than 10 years, uh, uh, industry got to, to uh, chips containing millions of transistor that really allows us to, to make a computer with a weight less than one and a half ton. So uh, Intel produces a processor. This processor was produced in 74, and this is relatively new. Both processors contain uh, contains uh, transistors, and uh, this processor just much more faster. What does it mean fast? It means that transistors are faster. To make transistor fast is very easy. You should make it small. When you uh, short distance between source and drain, you reduce uh, resistance, transistor became uh, faster. It means we uh, make shrinking, we, uh, we, we have transistor faster, we can insert more transistors, we can uh, uh, create, uh, we can uh, insert new uh, 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 functions on the device. So uh, Intel produced uh, uh, devices with more and more transistors and uh, Gordon Moore, one of the uh, founders, uh, made calculations how it moved and uh, checked it in 65 and 10 years after and said and, and, and revealed very interesting uh, uh, regulation. Uh, amount of transistors doubles in the, in the uh, device every two, uh, two years. And he said, guys, it's, it's, it will be uh, evolution low. Let's continue like this. And this is what happened. Uh, this is, uh, uh, you see it, uh, devices, uh, processors that were produced in 17s contained uh, 
thousands of transistors, while uh, today processors contain billions of transistors. Billions of transistors. If you think Moore's law is only about uh, uh, Intel or only about high tech, it's, it's wrong. Uh, Moore's law uh, affected everything, uh, impacted on everything. For instance, on software. Uh, please have a look on what's happened to his uh, software. I'm not software engineer. I just found these interesting graphs. Uh, there is a parameter complexity, lines of course, comments. And you, you can see it's, it's about uh, Moore's law. More than that, uh, Moore's law uh, impacted also uh, a passive component. Uh, 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 production, uh, faster processor request more uh, capacitors. Uh, uh, capacitor should be small and it should be a lot of capacitors. For instance, uh, especially tantalum capacitors. And uh, in order to make small capacitor with high capacitance, you should produce very fine tantalum powder. It means Moore's low forces powder technology, powder metallurgy to produce finer powders. This is what happened with the time. CV is the charge of the powder, uh, uh, capacitance multiplied by voltage uh, on the electro, uh, on the anodic polarization. And uh, you see what's happened. This parameter, uh, the higher the, the charge, the smaller the particle size. So this is uh, uh, Moore's law drives uh, uh, capacitors industry, but not only capacitors. Have a look what's happened with uh, passive, other passive components as uh, resistors. This uh, so-called uh, uh, thick uh, layers resistors. You see how small they start because you, you need such small trans, uh, uh, resistors and, uh, and uh, uh, shipping increased dramatically. Guys, this is a Moore's law. As Moore's law affected and pushes uh, uh, resistance uh, production. So what's happened with the pro, uh, um, uh, devices we produce? We have different technology. We move from technology, for instance, technology of uh, uh, 45 nanometers, not technology. The density of transistors uh, is 3.3 uh, million transistors per square millimeters. Today's technology is uh, 10 nanometers, not technology, contains 100 million transistors per square millimeter. Uh, I'm sure you know what this number means, yeah? Can someone say what, what this number, what does it mean, not technology? You can unmute and, and, and answer. So this is a, a, a size of the gate, gate size. Okay, just a moment, I will close the window. Uh, Anatoly. Yes, please. I have a question for you because yeah, I sure. worked on interconnect vias. I was sponsored by Intel when I did my PhD. And yeah. I remember that we talked at the time, I think we were at the 32 or 45 nanometer point. And we said when we get close to 10 or 20, we're getting into quantum physics there. So we are today, I think the latest Intel, uh, the, sorry, the latest chip on, on the Apple, the M1 is five nanometer, right? Uh... Yeah, but I know the, not 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 more than you know, uh, not not more than the published time. I know what we are producing. We are producing a lot of chip with with uh, uh, ten nanometers, will you which say is a word about not how, easy. How hmm? you overcame the quantum limitations? Oh, I can, I can. Uh, Yuli, maybe you can you can help me with that. Uh, I'm not sure. It's still, it's still, the principle is the same as a, as a, as a 45. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's still the same. We still did not 
jump into quantum uh, uh, computers. Okay. You know, okay. the, latest, the latest parameter of silicon is slightly higher than five angstrom, okay? So in current 10 nanometer channels, we have approximately 20 unit cells of Intel, of, 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 of silicon. And it still works. I mean, it's the, there is no quantum effects. And what, do you, what do you think the limit? Well, the VS, for example, that there was an issue of uh, the dual copper damascene would fail when we get below a certain amount in terms of current density going through it. I thought there was also inter uh, quantum interferences because the gate was so thin uh, that we were talking only about a few monolayers, right? So at that point, there was a question about how to engineer the transistor because of uh -huh. that. That's, that's why I'm asking the question. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's very, uh, you know, a lot of uh, things. Uh, uh, let's say, principally, no big difference between this technology and this technology, but materials are completely different. And uh, I'm sorry, I cannot say about this. Material and, 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 geo and geometry as well, that also impacts. Yes. The, the, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm sorry, there is a typo here. It should be source and drain. It's written source and source. This is problem of, you know, copy paste. Um, so let's continue. What actually did uh, Gordon Moore? He said we need a revolutionary innovation every two years, every two years. And uh, this is a very challenging and this is an excellent opportunities to, uh, to force new materials and new processes. Uh, if you watch about the process, how new devices are created, there are three steps. The first step is uh, design. Another step is, uh, the second step is uh, technology development. And the third step is high volume manufacturing. This is a uh, fabrication, what we have in, uh, in Kyrian Gat. The two first steps uh, could be done overlapping. Uh, it could be done more or less together. But the third step uh, should wait until uh, uh, first and the second step are completed. So what's, uh, uh, this is a picture from, of, of device. This is a, a processor containing uh, about uh, six milliards of transistors. And uh, what is the difference between old and new devices? Old device uh, uh, in, in 70s, it was good enough to have two years to to complete uh, design of new device. In uh, uh, modern devices, two years is not enough. You should start well before. What does it mean to well before? You are actually creating future. You should think about applications that don't exist so far and you should predict it. What's happened with the process? Process is how to create all these stacks, all, all these device. Uh, also complexity increases and if uh, for all devices, it was good enough to have two years. Today, it's not enough. You should start six, seven, maybe eight years before, what does it mean that the main challenge is that you should think about processes that doesn't exist, but this is excellent opportunity to force elaboration of novel materials and creation of new types of equipment. So when the first, the second step is completed, everything is moved to the um, uh, high volume manufacturing. This is huge clean room, uh, size of about three football uh, uh, fields, full of equipment, very expensive, huge size of equipment, uh, very clean. And generally everything is, uh, uh, just to let you know, it's, it's hundreds of uh, tools, hundreds of pieces of equipment. And uh, a full process contains thousands of operations. And sometimes uh, it takes some months, number of months to produce a wafer from the beginning to the end. 
And this is not end. This is not process. This is just briefer. Uh, and uh, uh, everything uh, is auto going automatically. People never touch wafer. All is automatic. Uh, generally, everything is done. You know, design, process development is completed. And uh, generally speaking, engineers and all staff of uh, high volume manufacturing should uh, uh, generally uh, think about uh, how to sustain the process, about sustaining the equipment, and, uh, and of course, improve indicators to, to make uh, projects on uh, yield improvement, cost reduction, very easy, but not. Uh, by the way, what we, what we produce, we produce is uh, 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 wafers. Wafer contains hundreds of chips. This is a chip containing six, seven milliard of transistors. And um, actually uh, everything fine, everything ready, but not. Why? Because we have excursions. Excursions happened. Excursions, in our case, the deviation from process or product parameters. Uh, it could be def uh, defects, elevation of defects. It could be unexpected uh, 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 change uh, of some parameter which uh, that runs out of uh, control limits. It could be sudden drop of uh, die yield. And just to let you understand the situation which engineer is uh, of course. Uh, first of all, production line continues to produce uh, uh, a spoiled product, defected wafers. And uh, you should solve this problem. In many cases, any excursion is unique and no written instruction how to fix it. And uh, this is not project. You cannot say, guys, uh, we, we did not succeed uh, with this project. Let's drop it. But we learned a lot of, no, this is excursion that should be closed. Root cause and should be found and closed. And time is, is a value. This is the most important. Therefore, problem solving is a, is a key point in, in, in our industry. So there are two, generally uh, speaking, there are two ways for problem solving. There is a so-called brainstorming. Uh, brainstorming is also problem solving uh, tool, but uh, typically people just sit in one room, a lot of uh, people and just through uh, uh, solutions. And it doesn't work because we're all affected by psychological inertia. Psychological inertia is always pull us out of, uh, 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 pull us into, into uh, known solutions, how to pull us to the history, to our um, um, experience, and doesn't allow us to move forward. When it's it's so called uh, uh, you know uh, uh, shutting in uh, in the duck. It's very very similar to casino. Typically, it doesn't work. You know, uh, a probability to win is not zero, but very very small. We need to 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 get uh, uh, to uh, separate it from psychological <coughs> inertia. Uh, for this reason, we should use problem solving tools. It could be fishbone, MBPS, trees, a lot of, a lot of tools, but we should do something. When people say think out of the box, it means uh, get released from psychological inertia and, uh, and, and start to work. And this is a way to get to the solution. We use uh, a strategy uh, that contains uh, generally four steps. And the first step is we should develop to understand what problem is. The second step is uh, we should understand, we should learn 
uh, the problem, uh, this is problem characterization and segmentation. We should learn everything about the problem. The next step is, is uh, uh, developing and validating of models. And the final step is uh, uh, is a uh, solution and after the documentation. Uh, problem characterization and segmentation overlapping with, uh, uh, with problem statement and modeling because it could change, could be affected. So uh, it's very important to find correct problem. The problem is a situation or person Unfortunately, in many cases, it could be a person uh, or, or thing that needs attention and needs to be dealt with or solved. And problem statement is a clear description of how the problem impacts uh, uh, our, our life, our real life. So actually, the problem is not what we see, is not defects on the wafer. But it's what should we do? Because what we see, let's 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 try to play a little bit. Do you think a flat tire is problem? Please unmute and and and, and say something. Yes, of yes. course. No, it's not. It's not. It's failure. It doesn't matter. It's not a problem. The problem. The problem, you think the problem is uh, uh, air running out of tire? No, it's not your problem. The problem is that you cannot continue to drive. The problem, you cannot get to dest destination on time. The problem is that unexpectedly you will need to pay money. Failure causes, causes problem. How to how to understand where, uh, uh, how to separate failure and problem. Guys, failure cannot be fixed. Problem can be solved. You cannot fix flat tire. You can prevent a running of air out of tire, but you will never return the tire into, into previous uh, conditions, into previous situation. Broken uh, leg, you, cannot uh, you cannot fix you can solve problem of running or walking but you cannot fix your leg is different already different this is a difference this is a very easy very very easy place to fail people start to think about failure and 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 not to solve problems okay let me please tell me what is uh, uh, give me process uh, problem statement before you start to jump with uh, with the numbers. Please say what problem is, which problem you should solve here. I need to find the sum equal thirty with three balls. Yeah, it's not a problem. You cannot solve this problem. What problem? is that you can't get to an even number with three odd ones. exactly this is a problem since you formulated your problem statement you see only odd numbers and you should create from three of them even number it means you should get you should you you you, you you should solve another problem. You should find some ball that could be converted, could, could help convert uh, odd number into, into even number. Which ball is it? Nine, of course. Nine, of course, yeah, okay. So, you know, this is a very, let's say, easy and stupid, stupid uh, example showing uh, what does it mean to to, to formulate the problem statement. To formulate problem statement means it's, 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 it's halfway to, to the solution. Formulation of problem statement is a problem solving tool. Let's go to the second step, problem characterization and segmentation. 
Uh, another quiz, please give me number. Please give me number. Yeah, it's easy. No, well, just unmute and give it an, a true number. Sorry, what, which number? 67. 67, okay. What else? 26. 26, okay. What else? 23. 23, okay. Who else? Oh, no. Not 23, sorry. Oh, mm -hmm. exactly. I, I assume right. that you, the multiplication it comes is, before the sum, right? Because you didn't put parentheses it's there. 20, right? it, it's 18. 18, okay. Uh, in frontal lecture, I, I typically feel full, you know, whiteboard with numbers and none of them is right. This is exactly example of, uh, of psychological in inertia. We running to, to give uh, a solution before we investigate the system. We That's should cool. investigate the system before. Mm -hmm. We should investigate all details. The right number is 38. 38. Yeah, 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 right. Because, you know, this is... Uh, uh, 15 uh, angles, so each angle, angle is one. Uh, 15, it's uh, each, each banana is one. And, uh, and this each hour is one. And three multiplied by, by 11, 33, and plus three plus two, 38. But this is, this is, uh, this is example that we need to use problem solving tool in order to tools in order to get out of this uh, uh, box and and think inventively first investigate and after that to bring the solution it's I, you know this is what happened what's happened in, in, in inter and it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of money so uh, the purpose of this step, one of the general purposes of this step, problem characterization segmentation is to define root cause of the problem. Could someone say what root cause is? Yes, please. Hmm? Guys, please, please tell. Is it a general question or you refer yeah. to the previous example? No, 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 just, no, no, just, this is general question, yeah. The reason, the reason. Reason, okay, okay. The classical traditional definition is a fundamental reason for a, the occurrence of the problem. Yes, this is, this is good uh, definition, but it's not helpful. We, we don't know what to do with it. Okay, we found that uh, a fundamental reason, what to do, how to solve problem. There is another definition, which is more practical. It's opposite. By the way, it came from, uh, from, from Cambridge. Uh, the root cause is a source of a defect such that if it is removed, the defect is decreased or removed. As What does it mean? That root cause is something that can help us to solve problem. Not something that causes problem, but something that can help us to solve problem. Let's take example. By the way, uh, uh, cause and effect chain, uh, this is a, a very popular uh, tool, problem solving tool that is used for root cause search for root cause analysis. Uh, it's very easy. You shoot, uh, you ask why, 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 and you honestly answer this uh, question. Headache, why 
Uh, because of high blood pressure. Why? Uh, because of a high concentration of salt in the blood. Why? Because of full Irish breakfast. Okay, I like full Irish breakfast. I've been living a long time in Ireland. <laughs> and uh, why? I, I, I want to eat it. Why? Why I cannot eat uh, full Irish breakfast? Oh, because there is a problem with, with, with the stomach. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? For instance, because a uh, mother didn't want to stop smoking during uh, their pregnancy. Guys, this is the fundamental reason of problem and the main parameter, main feature of the fundamental reason that it never can help to solve real existing problem. If we solve this problem, we can, you know, we can prevent these problems in the future. We can help other people. So we should think about fundamental reason. But in this particular case, it's not working. In order to solve this problem, we should destroy the chain. How we can destroy the chain? It means that each step could be root cause. For instance, I say a uh, root cause is a stomach problem. Okay, if so, it could be uh, some surgery. Okay, Irish, uh, full Irish breakfast. Okay, I also can say this is a root cause. And in this case, I will, I will eat uh, uh, not fat uh, animals. Uh, okay, high salt concentration. Okay, I can ask some, uh, I will drink a lot of water. I can some, ask some medicine in order to, to, to reduce uh, salt concentration. Oh, I can find some medical for, for uh, blood pressure. Oh, I can say, guys, my root cause is here. Maybe it's good enough to, uh, you know, to, to, uh, to, to use a ecamol or dexamol and, and it, it will be good enough. But when we created all this chain, we have, you see, five different ways to solve this problem. This is what we are doing. This is example. Don't try to read and understand what is written here. Just I just, I just want to show you how difficult it could be. This analysis could be. How many? It's of of course this chain could be ramified, and this is a way to investigate to understand how system is working and where root cause is and which one should be taken to solve the problem. The next step is a model. We should create model. How, uh, how uh, uh, excursion happened? How defect uh, occurred? The model is a description of the contributing factors or conditions that must be met to create the observed symptom of a problem statement. Symptom, it means failure. We should be able to replicate failure. Uh, resource, there are a lot of uh, tools helping to, 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 uh, to create model. Uh, I like uh, our resource analysis. The resource analysis uh, says uh, that um, the system contains everything that could uh, uh, the resource for the failure. It's not necessary that someone will come in and, and make a, a problem. Uh, roadmap is very easy. Uh, list all relevant components and think one by one. If we think like this, if we think about all system, we will never create uh, the model. We should think by this way, one by one, and we can create problem, uh, a model of the problem. Example, uh, we use dry edge. Dry edge, um, 
uh, you know, it's a uh, um, etcher, is a uh, uh, chamber, upper electrode, chuck, uh, wafer, uh, gases, uh, plasma, and then suddenly we have problems that on, on, on one side, on the left side, there is a uh, under edge. We can write separately all uh, components and uh, and think separately how wafer could cause a problem, how hopper electrode could cause a problem, how chuck could cover. Let's uh, just through our uh, uh, idea, uh, uh, your model, how exhaust or pumping or, 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 or pump could cause a problem uh, under each. Uh, can you? Mm -hmm. You probably might have an even flow of the reactants in your system. Okay. Tur yeah. tur turbulences on the edge of the wafer. Okay, for instance, or or maybe maybe another. This is one model. Another model, you know, uh, dry edge is conversion of solid into gas. If we uh, edge uh, silicon, we should convert it into silicon fluoride, for instance, and we should uh, pump out silicon fluoride. If we're not pumping out silicon fluoride, we will stop interaction, and the interaction will will get stopped. Even we create a uh, silicon oxide particle. Okay, walls. How walls? Walls could be. They, they exist just to, to you know to 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 prevent uh, uh, air penetration into the chamber. How walls uh, that could be you know deposited inside with uh, with uh, some byproducts. Uh, how it could if affect uh, uh, causes the problem. Just just through uh, idea. model. Guys, this is high frequency, very, very high frequency. And in, 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 in the high frequency field, you know, uh, nail could be a resistor capacitor and, and, and inductor. And walls are part of the whole electrical system. Walls are part of of impedance. And if you have deposited and uh, uh, partially deposited or not symmetrically deposited, uh, uh, deposited on the wall, you changed, you changed uh, impedance. And uh, this could, could affect uh, the results. Another example, uh, wet edge, just very easy. Wafer rotates uh, and we're pouring uh, chemistry and we suddenly have uh, edge rate decrease. Uh, uh, okay, we, 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 we have chuck, we have wafer, we have water and uh, we, we don't have a lot of time. So uh, chuck, for instance, it could be uh, uh, rotation increases or decreases. It depends on where uh, chemical interaction is uh, uh, in, in kinetic or, or, or diffusion uh, area. A wafer shape, of course, we can uh, take this model and analyze it. The first stuff, uh, maybe changed and the weighting angle is changed. Solution, it could be change in concentration. Exhaust, please tell me what, how exhaust, uh, the process is, uh, of course, is, is it about uh, uh, ambient uh, uh, pressure and about one atmosphere, but there is a, there is a uh, exhaust which is pumping out uh, uh, some uh, something which evaporates some vapors from from the chamber. How this could affect the H ray? Mm -hmm. If you don't exhaust too fast enough, then you'll have stagnation and maybe it will continue etching more or do something. Oh, okay, so okay, okay. And if I if I exhaust fast enough, I also can change com uh, uh, composition of the chemistry. And also I increase evaporation rate. And due to evaporation rate, the temperature of chemistry get 
low will be low and at low temperature, a trade will get reduced. So uh, another way is a functional modeling. Uh, functional modeling uh, uh, contains, uh, uh, this is a, uh, uh, we should list components, we should list product and super system, all components which exist in the system are here and uh, components which impacts the system but doesn't exist to system like air pollution uh, they called a super uh, system and components and we should create we should find functional relation between all components how we can find functional relation function exists when uh, some parameters changes for instance, I'm dreaming now about a glass of beer on the seashore. There is no any functional relation between me and beer, yeah? Because no parameters change. When I drink beer, it's, there is a functional relation. I, I reduce the uh, volume of beer and beer also affects me, makes me happy. So this way is a very, very uh, good for uh, problem solving for modeling. Just again, don't try to, uh, to, to have a look, to, to read it, to understand it. I also don't remember uh, this model, but just to show you how difficult it could be, it takes a long time to create such functional model. During judgment model creation, we learn, we understand how system works. There are two types, generally two types of uh, functions useful function and harmful function. Harmful function is red errors and useful functions and blue errors. From this model, we can calculate the most functional component, the most problematic component. This is so-called static functional modeling. There is dynamic functional modeling. Uh, for instance, uh, there is a huge fullness and we perform for instance oxidation of uh, silicon of wafer furnace is built of, uh, of 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 three parts of three furnaces there are thermocouples and there is a problem bottom wafers are different a sickness variation is is high on bottom wafers we should understand it why we separated all process into six steps. The first step is preloading. When this boat is out of is is out of uh, uh, of furnace, we should load it. This is preloading. After that, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, after that, we should load this. This is loading. After that stabilization, we should wait until temperature is get stabilized. After that oxidation, this is a process itself. After that unloading, we should remove this boat out of furnace and, 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 and cooling. We build functional modeling for models for each step and uh, connected it. And you see, as I said, uh, blue functions are, uh, are useful functions and red functions are harmful functions. Uh, please tell me without any calculation, tell me where problem is. According to color, you see. Loading. Loading and unloading also. What, what, what does it mean? What does it mean? It means this problem comes when, uh, occurs when wafers are moving. You know, preloading wafers are not moving, stabilization, oxidation, cooling, wafers are not moving. It means we should think how it's happened, why bottom wafers are different uh, uh, due to loading. Please give me model. Mm, guys, 
They are cooler. Cooler. Okay, you know, the thermocouples keep the temperature uh, same. Yeah, but the, uh, the top one are getting hotter while they're moving in. Okay. So they get hotter than the rest of the... Okay, the we build... Starts, they are cooler. Okay, we, we build in as a model. We said uh, a, a furnace is, uh, is hot and always hot, 300, 400 degrees centigrade, something like this. And wafers are at room temperature. When uh, wafers uh, are coming, you see the first wafer, cold wafer come to the thermocouple and say to thermocouple, it's cold. Guys, it's cold, please add power. Instead of get uh, uh, right uh, uh, feedback, another wafer, another cold wafer coming and say, it's cold, it's cold. And what's happened, this bottom zone of the uh, of furnace is always overheated. It means bottom wafers received high temperature, uh, it's, they are overheated. How to solve this problem? Very easy. To disconnect uh, feedback during loading, right? So uh, next step, uh, the final step is, uh, is how to find solution. When we find solution, any solution, it is some changing of some parameter. Uh, but, but what's happened, the parameters are, are connected one to another. When we change some parameter, when we make some parameter better, some other parameter is getting worse. And to solve, pro typically we, we, we have a trade-off. We move, improve one parameter, we, we get uh, another parameter worse. The solve problem, it means to destroy a linkage between parameters. For this purpose, there is a, a, a fantastic tool, trees tool, uh, Alshuler matrix. Alshuler ana, uh, uh, analyzed tens of thousands of patterns and revealed very interesting thing. First, he revealed all parameters we are dealing with can be assigned to one of uh, uh, 39 uh, uh, general parameter, typical parameters. All solutions in the world were done using one of 40 principles, 40 general inventive principles, not 40,000, not 40 millions, only 40. More than that, he said, you don't need to pass through all uh, parameter, uh, through all principles, you can use his uh, uh, metrics and uh, uh, to find three, four parameter uh, uh, principles that are relevant to your problem and use it as a tip. So this is a list of parameters, but again, it's very general. <laughs> Speed, it's very general. Shape, it's very general. Strength and so on. It's very, very general. You should understand how to find relevant. I'm sorry. Okay. So this is the list. List of inventive principles. Mm. 40 principles, they are uh, ranked. The, the strengths uh, principle is, is a segmentation, extraction, local quality, asymmetry, nested doll. You know what nested doll is, yeah? Matryoshka. When you put something inside of uh, another uh, body. Babushka. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so in order to solve problem, we should create a uh, uh, engineering contradiction. If we do something, then some parameter will be improved and some parameter will be worsened. And this is a, a, a matrix 
we can find a relevant uh, uh, improving parameter, a relevant worsening parameter. And in the field where they meet, we can see numbers. Numbers means the uh, numbers of principles that are relevant for solving this problem. It means someone solved a similar problem. You can find in the uh, internet, uh, 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 you don't need to use uh, 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 metrics itself. You can see, uh, you can find a lot of, uh, uh, in the internet, a lot of uh, uh, softwares for, for, uh, for the principles. Last example, you know what trap shooting is. Uh, I've been living uh, in, in Leningrad near the park, very beautiful, nice park, uh, Sosnovka. And it was um, really contaminated with the splinters of, uh, of, of targets. Terrible. Let's solve this problem. Clay splinters remain on the field and contaminate the area. We, we can write uh, engineering uh, contradiction. If, we, if all splinters will be collected with some special technique, we can build some technique, then the field will be clean, but the technique will destroy the soil and will affect the area. So improving parameter is everything which is written after then. Yeah? The field will be clean, clean area. Worsening parameter is after bad. Bad destroys the soil and will affect the rear. So general improving parameter, we found number 12 shape. This is what will be better. And uh, generic worsening parameter, we found 26, which is quality of substance. And if we go to the matrix, we will get two, two principles, 36 and 22. Let's have a look. What does it mean? Principle 26, it's phase transition. It means sync phase transition. How phase transition phenomena could help you to solve this problem. Please give your solutions. You have 30 seconds to find solution. Sync phase transition, phase transition. Guys, problem solving tool, this is a tool that makes you be focused on something specific. When we focus on something specific, we solve problem, we got new ideas. So the, uh, you see, we can uh, build the targets from ice. And eyes will get uh, uh, phase transition and, and, and uh, will get melted. Not only we can make it from uh, dry ice. And uh, you know, the, the forest will be very, uh, will, will, will like it to get uh, CO2. Okay, we have another principle, 22. Blessing in on this gas. Turn lemons into limonade. You don't like lemons. Uh, you can you can eat. Uh, you can can make a lemonade. The main tip here, the main sense is use harmful factors to achieve a positive effect. Do you have any uh, ideas? I have one, Anatoly. Yes, sure. This conference, because of COVID nineteen. We couldn't have this thing on site. It was a lemon, and but we could invite foreign speakers. We could not have had if they had to travel and stay here in Israel. <laughs> okay, so if we return to the uh, clay sprinters, the target could be made from fertilizing material, and we will separate fertilizing. This is the third solution. The fourth solution, uh, targets could be made from dog food, for instance, and animals or dogs will, will eat it. And, uh, and, 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 and uh, uh, the forest or park will, will be clean. So uh, I wanna say it's, uh, it's not 
easy, but it's very interesting. So, uh, Miraf. Yeah. Yes, please. Just a scan. Yeah, I, I, I showed I showed your uh, yeah. your slide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I heard myself twice. Do you hear me correct? Yeah, we, we can hear you. Okay, so we would like you to, now to ask questions, and the only in Anatoly here will answer you. Uh, in addition, you can scan the QR code and fill the form. The form will be that you will be in our talent group. We will send you some materials, uh, interesting things, and uh, nothing that you need to do, or if you want to leave in any time, you can do that. I will add it to the chat. No questions. Uh, and Anatoly, uh, put that. Yes, thank you. Okay, okay. I don't know if I convince you Shea, that uh, you know just production is uh, could be extremely interesting. Y Yuli, please, uh, could you add something? We we still have about five minutes. Uh, oh yeah. So uh, I think you, you, we convinced you actually that the learning of these uh, problem-solving tools are extremely important, especially uh, as Anatoly mentioned, the time is one of the most critical factors that affects actually and differs between the approach that we use in the academy versus uh, what we face during the manufacturing process. So uh, during the problem solving, uh, we have to do to get the best results possible during the shortest time frame possible. That is the point, okay? So that's why we need to learn the tools and learn the instruments and know how to use them when you face the problem and just go through the phases that Anatoly presented you, starting from the correct problem definition, description of symptoms, and further analyzing what is uh, improving, what is worsening, formulate the contradiction. This is the most critical part of the problem sol sol uh, solving. As soon as you formulate the, the contradiction, just go straight to the matrix of Altschuler and try to find solutions, okay? D try to extract them from this magic matrix. What Altschuler, from my perspective, what Altschuler did is just something absolutely amazing. This is the present to humankind, not less important, at least from my perspective, than a discovering of the theory of relativity. And I'm not joking. I am completely serious here. Guys, it works in so many areas. It's something universal. And it actually shortens the time to get the right solution during the shortest period of time. Okay? I, I have a question, actually. Yeah, sure, please. Yes, so maybe a little bit naive question. I'm pretty much sure that every one of us, as a scientist, has developed his own approach to solving problems we encounter in the lab or you know, encounter some puzzling experimental results and so on, right? Or, you know, vice versa in the industry. And this is somehow comes naturally. I mean, sometimes you develop on something, sometimes you have a breakthrough out of the box thinking and so on. So uh, wouldn't this uh, sticking to this, um, I would say, problem solving algorithm, isn't it creating some sort of a new box that doesn't it have some sort of paralyzing influence on creative thinking? I absolutely convinced not, but opposite, because it sh it gives you first of all much more variance and much more direction to solve the problem, and it will arise the concepts and ideas that you never thought before. I can tell you even more. You will have a problem to choose to which direction to go and which solution to pick up. That's what typically happens. It actually dramatically facilitates the the the, the usage of the of your intuition. These principles are in, not instead of thinking, but they just dramatically facilitate the speed of thinking and picking up the right solution. Okay, okay. thank you. 
because what actually Alshurev did, he manually went through approximately 45,000 of patents and found features which are repeatable and reproducible. And they picked them up with the tweezers and put them together. That's the point. Okay. By, by the way, uh, uh, integration of uh, academy work and uh, scientific work and, uh, and uh, uh, problem solving, uh, I, I think is very good. And uh, I, I believe we, with Yuli, can be there is, is a good example. I, I, I understand you very much. I've been working in academy uh, about uh, 20 years uh, in, in Russia, in France, in Israel, and published a lot of scientific papers and, and fat book about fluorine chemistry. And when I added uh, problem solving uh, experience, and theory, it's it's it really changed my life. Anatoly, I think the time is up because we have a, yeah, a, a, sure. a break, but I want just to put an advertising plug for myself. I'm teaching in fact this semester, I don't know though how to do it on Zoom on creativity and problem solving, and trees is an integral part of that course. So Very anybody good. in Barilan or not who is interested, there is a class touching. Talking okay. about that. I, so, I would so be good. glad to do it. Very so nice. Yeah, so Thank you. Yes. Thank you. On the list. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you, Thank you guys. Much. Thank you very much. You Thank stay you. on this link, by the way. The rest of uh, so then after that there are there's a break and then after there are the poster sessions. Go to your program to check uh, the links. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks very much. Bye bye. Bye.